If you're planning on getting a Bachelor of Science in Data Analytics from WGU, stick with me. I've got some shortcuts to help you save time and money. Hi, my name is Jopi and I'm a college advisor with study.com. Today, we're gonna look at WGU's BS in Data Analytics degree. I've got the full degree plan that'll break down for you course by course and show you how to hack in some time-saving strategies. And stick around to the end and I'll break down how to save over $5,000 on this degree. This is a great degree if you're interested in a career in data analytics. Working as a data analyst, application architect, or risk management analyst are just a few of the jobs you could pursue. Ready to jump in? Great. Let's go. You can see that I've grouped these courses by the degree requirements and WGU courses. We split them into categories like gen eds, data management, data science, and more to help you know which courses count for what part of the program requirements. You also see quite a few study.com courses listed next to WGUs. Over 200 study.com courses are approved for college credit transfer. That said, the courses listed in this map have been approved by WGU for these specific requirements, but these aren't the only ones you can use. The degree map linked in the description has alternatives if there are any others to choose from. I'll explain why I put each one in its slot as we go. If you're overwhelmed by all of this info at once, you are not alone, but it's going to be okay. This is your one-stop shop to this degree. So feel free to pause the video, open the degree plan link in the description below, save a copy and edit your own version as we go through each requirement. That way you'll be able to save your preferred course options and know that they'll work for you. And if you're not able to now, make sure to make a note for later. Your future self will thank you. Less stress, more organization. Now let's dive in. Let's start with your gen ed requirements. First up is Introduction to Physical and Human Geography. You have many different study.com courses to choose from to satisfy this one. I picked Economics 101 because I thought economics and data analysis go hand in hand. Economics often involves understanding and interpreting data to explain how the world works and make informed decisions. However, if you are a history buff and want to take advantage of this opportunity to learn more about a topic that interests you, then go for it. The Civil War, Western Civilization, and the Vietnam War are just a few of the options you have on study.com. Or if psychology is more your speed, check out those courses. Next, there's Influential Communication through Visual Design and Storytelling. You'll take this one with WGU. Moving down, we come to Introduction to Systems Thinking. This is another course you'll take through WGU. Next up, we have Introduction to Communications. Study.com has Communications 101 that'll work for this. This is a great course to move through quickly. It has relatively easy to handle projects and just over 100 lesson quizzes to complete. Business 113 and 324 are also options here. So if you don't mind a bit more work and think you might want to work in a business environment, then look into the business courses. The English composition requirement has two study.com course options. You can take English 104 or 204, whichever course you prefer. I suggest English 104 for this degree because most students I've spoken with prefer it as a slightly easier version. That said, I'd encourage you to check out both courses and their written assignments out for yourself to see if you have a preference. The next gen ed course requirement is American politics and the US constitution. Study.com's political science 102 is a good match for this course. This is a bit on the longer side with 138 lessons, but there are no extra assignments. With longer courses, I highly suggest taking placement tests whenever possible. These are risk-free, just answer what you know and be honest when you don't. That way you won't accidentally test out of the material you need to know based on guesses, but you'll move past what you've already learned. It's a win-win. Next up is Applied Probability and Statistics with two study.com equivalents. I recommend Statistics 101, especially if you don't have much experience with this topic. If you feel confident with statistics and are interested in learning about more advanced concepts, specifically for business, you might want to check out Business 212. One tip for taking Statistics 101 on study.com, you'll be able to use several stats tables in the final exam. There's a Z-scores and standard normal curve areas one, a T-distribution table, and one on binomial properties. You can print all of these out and use them on the final exam. So don't worry too much about memorizing huge sets of data. Instead, focus on which equations and formulas apply for which problems. This will be critical on that test. Next, we have applied algebra. 
You have a few options to choose from here, but I recommend study.com's Math 101. This is the easiest option, especially if you aren't very confident in the math and want a course that you can move through quickly. <laughs> but if you excel at math, check out Math 103, 104, and 105. These options are a bit more advanced and will give you a backbone in basic calculus to boot. You also have options when it comes to the natural science lab requirement. So if you have a favorite science subject or topic, I'd usually suggest picking a course closest to that. Quick note though, some biology and chemistry courses on study.com also have virtual labs to complete along with the course itself. I put Astronomy 101 here because it's the only option without a lab, so you might be able to work through it faster compared to the other courses. Moving down, we have critical thinking, reason, and evidence. Humanities 201 Critical Thinking and Analysis is the study.com equivalent. It has three assignments and less than 60 quizzes. You should be able to move through these two quickly, especially if you're familiar with the topics covered, like types of arguments and critical analysis methods. Here's a tip to help you save time when writing your essays. You can check the essay topics ahead of time. When you're going through the lessons that are relevant to the essays, you might want to pop open the Take Notes feature on study.com. You've got the full transcript down below, but using the notes ties your note to a timestamp in the video lesson. So feel free to pause, write down something on your provided notes or your own pad and play the video as much as you'd like. Then open the notes tab of your account whenever you're ready to write your essays and bam, <laughs> it's all right there at your fingertips between your notes, transcript and flashcards. Next, there's the design thinking for business. You'll take this course at WGU. For health, fitness, and wellness, I recommend study.com's Health 101, but Nutrition 101 is also an option. Health 101 doesn't go into as much detail as far as anatomy as Nutrition 101 does, so you might find it a bit easier. Continuing to the next line, we have discrete math logic. For this one, you can take study.com's Math 108. And the good news is Math 108 will also cover the final gen ed requirement of discrete math functions and relations. We have one more course in the gen ed core, ethics and technology. You'll take this one at WGU. And that's the end of your gen eds. <laughs> one section down, nice work. Let's look at all the data management section now. All three of the courses here have study.com substitutes. For advanced data management, Computer Science 303 is a good match. Yes, you can choose between Computer Science 107 or Analytics 103 for data management foundations. While both courses are valuable, I'd go with Computer Science 107 because it provides a broader understanding of various database systems and their management. The final course in this section is Data Management Applications. For this one, you can take study.com's Computer Science 204. Now we've come to the data science core. You have eight courses here and you'll take them all at WGU. Moving down, there's one course in the business management core, change management. You'll also take this one at WGU. The scripting and programming core is made up of two courses and you can take both of them with study.com. The first one is introduction to programming in Python. Study.com's Computer Science 113 is a perfect match for this one. Also, there's just 69 lessons and no extra assignments, so you might be able to move through this one pretty fast. Next up is scripting and programming foundations. You have three options here, Computer Science 109, 112, and 115. I put 109 here because it's a more general overview of computer science. If you don't have much experience with programming, it might be a good idea to start here. But if you feel confident and want to take a closer look at programming in C++ or Java, check out the other courses. Two courses are included in the software core, scripting and programming applications and hardware and operating systems essentials. Both of these you'll take at WGU. Next, we have a network and security requirement for networks and security foundations. There's only one required course in this section and you can take study.com's Computer Science 108 to cover it. You'll learn all the basics, how networks are structured, what makes them tick, and how to keep them running smoothly and securely. Then we have the data analytics core. There are two classes here, Introduction to Analytics and Data and Information Governance. Both of these courses you'll take with WGU. Moving down, there's a full stack of engineering. There's only one course here, version control, and you'll take it at WGU. The next section is the business of IT. The first course is the business of IT project management. Here you can take study.com's business 311. 
The other course in this section is IT Leadership Foundations. You have a few options here. I recommend Business 101. This course will give you a general overview of the principles of management. It has no extra assignments. If you have some management experience and don't mind a little extra work, you can look into a higher level course like Business 107 or 307. This section is the Computer Science Core. You only have one class here, Data Structures and Algorithms 1. You'll take Study.com's Computer Science 201 to satisfy this requirement. In this course, you'll dive into the must-know essentials of data structures, all with a Java twist. You'll get to tackle programming exercises that give you hands-on experience with object-oriented design, algorithms, trees, priority queues, text processing, and even memory management. By the end, you'll feel confident handling all the foundational tools you need to write efficient, powerful code. These last four sections cover your web development, business core, and information technology management course requirements, plus your capstone course. All these are taken with WGU. And that wraps up the whole degree plan. Thanks for sticking with me. You can earn a total of 59 credits on study.com for this degree. That's across 19 classes. Remember to budget your time and use the tips I described for each course. On study.com, you can do two courses each month for $235. For a little extra, you can do more courses. So if you really want to speed through, it might be worth it to pay more. But if you just do two a month, these 19 classes will take just 10 months. That's $2,350 you'd pay to study.com. At WGU at the same pace, you'd have to pay for two semesters. You can't go month to month, so that costs $7,910. So even if you don't go faster than two courses per month, you're saving $5,560. That's a significant savings when you're trying to avoid getting buried under a mountain of student debt. Remember, you can go faster. It's $70 on study.com to take an extra exam each month. If you can do three or even four courses each month, you'll end up saving another five or $600. If you can do that, great. But I think two courses per month is a more manageable pace for most students that I work with. If you're considering data analytics as a career field, this degree is a fantastic pathway toward your goals and your dreams. With WGU and study.com's affordable pricing and flexible course schedules, this is by far one of the fastest and cheapest ways to earn a bachelor's degree in data analytics from a reputable university. Just remember to grab transcripts of any prior college experience and fill in the rest with study.com and WGU courses. WGU advisors are happy to help plot your degree map, and there are also study.com advisors standing by to help you pick out courses specific to your interests and career goals. So reach out whenever you need help and make a plan to get started as soon as you can, because that's one day closer to your goals and where you want to be. Thanks for watching. And if you're not 100% sure about data analytics or WGU, check out our other videos on this channel for other ideas. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for a lot more ways to hack your degree. We've got you covered. And again, study.com advisors are here to help. Good luck. Bye.